The idea that you could ask a question and then some archaeologist would answer it is a good plan. What was the greatest archaeological faux pas? Did someone ever fake an artifact? Was there something that was discovered and then it, you know, the whole theory was shattered by a new discovery? What was the biggest embarrassment in archaeology? The most famous example is the Piltdown hoax. Back in 1912, an amateur archaeologist in England claimed to have found the fossil skull of an early man with a large brain and with the jaw of more like an ape. And it seemed to confirm a theory that the brain had evolved first. And everybody was, was fascinated with it. It became a sensation. And for close to 40 years, it was one of the crown jewels of the, uh, of the uh, British Museum, kept in a vault. And then one day in about 1950, and almost by accident, they discovered that the skull and the jaw were completely different ages. That was a sensational announcement when it came out. And even today, People are still trying to find the, the identity of the hoaxer. Have you or any of your colleagues been hunted, attacked, or killed by an ancient curse? First of all, there was no curse. And all these curse ideas got started back in the 1920s when the tomb of Tutankhamun was, was discovered and excavated in the Valley of the Kings in uh, Egypt. And it was said erroneously that there was a curse and anybody disturbed the tomb would meet a grisly fate. The only um, reason that it even got any traction was because Lord Carnarvon, who was one of the sponsors of the excavation, did die uh, shortly after that, uh, rather unexpectedly from, I think, an infected insect bite in Cairo, and that got everybody started. Most of the other people who were involved, including Howard Carter, who actually discovered the tomb and excavated it and took out the mummy and everything else, lived to ripe old age. Is there any theoretical validity in the interpretation of alien presence in the material record? That's a very interesting question because I think it's actually two questions. Is there any theoretical validity is one question. And the implicit other question is, is there any evidence of aliens in the archaeological record? So let's start with the first question. Is there any theoretical validity? Of course, there is, because astronomers and many other scientists do believe that there have been advanced civilizations elsewhere in the universe. This is purely theoretical. However, none of these have ever been detected, and there's even this long-standing project called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI, that for the last 30, 40 years has been searching for signals from such civilizations, but none have been received. But theoretically, they do exist, and if existing, they might have existed in the past. But there are two difficulties with this. First of all, nobody has been able to come up with any scientific way of crossing interstellar space. We can't travel at the speed of light, we can't even survive in space for long periods of time that we know of. And to my knowledge, not one scintilla of evidence has ever been uncovered to show the presence of aliens in the past. 